I'm Gabby. And I'm Shanna. And we're 27 Travels. And today we are coming at you from Bath, United Kingdom. This might be the first video that you've seen from our UK trip, but we were actually in Bath with Love Great Britain, which is the tourism board of the UK, and we are so excited to be here. Apparently Gabby has been to Bath before, but she was like really little and doesn't remember it. I <laughs> do not remember at all, and so far, just from like walking from the train to our hotel, I can pretty much say that nothing has come back so far <laughs> as like, wow, I was here before, but like maybe that'll change throughout this video. I guess you're gonna have to stay tuned to find out. So I've never been here before, and I am super excited. We've heard so many amazing things about Bath, Actually, so many people who we told they were coming on this trip and coming to Bath said, oh my God, you're gonna love it, it's beautiful, and they love it, it's one of their favorite places ever. So I think we're gonna have a good time here, but we just arrived, so we're gonna go check into our hotel, and then we're gonna show you everything we're up to. Okay, so we just got to our hotel in Bath. We are staying at Hotel Indigo. The staff was so sweet welcoming us here. So Gary's in the bathroom right now, but I'm just gonna do a quick little room tour because we don't have a lot of time. We're going to like the next thing we're doing like super soon. So I'm gonna do a quick little room tour. So you walk in and this is the bed, a massive king size bed, maybe even bigger than a king. It looks so comfortable. Cannot wait to try that out tonight. And then we have like the TV here, a little desk, chairs, books. Amazing. And when Gabby's out in the bathroom, I'll show you the bathroom because the this is like bathroom goals right here, like our true bathroom goals. Okay, Gabby's on the bathroom, so we can we can show you it now. All right, this so is the bathroom. How Look at this tile. Like, insane. Like we are up. I'm just gonna stand farther back so you can like see, but I'm absolutely obsessed. Like so cute. If we could have this in our apartment in New York City, yeah, goals. It's our dream to have tile. Yet yeah, this bathroom is bigger than our whole bedroom at home. So Literally, something crazy about that. But so cool. Look at this bathtub. I and think it even has a little like tray area. Yeah, I feel like we need to use this bathtub before we leave. It's just too good. Okay, so next up, we're actually going to a tour of. I think it's called Mary Shelley's House of Frankenstein, and obviously Mary Shelley is a science fiction writer, one of the first women to write science fiction. That much we know so far, but I don't think we know enough about her, so obviously on this tour, we're gonna find out. We're gonna learn all about it, and I think we just have a really exciting like first day in Bath today. We're gonna be doing like so many things that you all are gonna see, but we're incredibly excited. This town looks so cute, and I feel like we've only seen like one block so far. So we are walking through Abbey Square right now, which is kind of like a little like square in the city center. And we actually found out that Bath is technically a city because there is an abbey or a cathedral in the center, which makes it a city according to the UK. Yeah, this is such a beautiful <laughs> cathedral. Honestly, it's huge. <laughs> So now we are going to do a Bridgerton tour, which is obviously the Netflix show. Apparently they filmed parts of the show here in Bath, so that's next up on our list. Yeah, we're so excited. I watched the whole entire show and I really liked it. Shanna fell asleep during some of it, so we'll see what she actually remembers versus <laughs> what was in the show, but it should just be really cool because we've never done a lot of like movie tours. No. So like seeing something where things were filmed is just a really cool thing. Okay, so we're doing something on this tour where she is like talking and we're wearing these headphones and we're hearing like what the tour guide is saying but she's not like shouting like they do in America so I think this is way more polite. <laughs> yeah this is nicer too because I feel like you hear everything they're saying instead of being like oh if I'm looking at something I can't hear what's happening. <laughs> path that we're walking on right now, apparently Jane Austen has once walked this. Our feet are walking where Jane Austen walked. Holy ground. <laughs> Just learned how to make a mojito. 
keto. How freaking incredible is that? It was so much fun, by the way, using this thing. The mud muddling. Muddler? Muddler. Funnest Muddler. thing ever, but look okay, at this now mojito. You need to try it. Okay. It is perfect. It's like a perfect <laughs> mojito, truly. It was yes. so fun. Wait, you have to show your shan? Okay. Mine looks really good too. And also, I tasted it already, so mine's good. <laughs> How beautiful do our drinks look together? So good. Whoa. Wait, how did you do that? only gay bar in Bath right now. It's called Mandolin and we can so already see to go. Look at the rainbows. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so we just got back from our first night out in Bath and we had so much fun. As you just saw, we actually went to the only gay bar in Bath called Mandolins and it was so cute. I mean, it wasn't really super crowded because it's like a Tuesday, I think, while we're here. So it wasn't really popping off, but it was really cool to like support a local queer business. Yeah, and definitely such like a nice, like clean, fun space. Like I feel like if we were back on the weekend, we would definitely go there. So if you're here while you're visiting Bath, you need to go and support the gay bar. I mean, it's really cute. We had such a fun day. We walked so much. Like it just felt I think we walked like six miles. <laughs> yeah, this city is so walkable. You could literally just like walk around this whole city, walk through all the little like alleyways and shops and stuff. And we're hoping to do a little bit of that tomorrow. Like go to some of the stores and walk down some more of those like cute little streets. But just such a walkable city and so much fun to walk around. So tomorrow we're actually doing probably the most like iconic thing that you can do in Bath, which is visit the Roman baths and also go to the spa, the thermal spa. Because actually Bath is known for having this like water with healing properties that is like naturally like under the ground and it's like super hot like the woman that we met today who is from the tourism board said that I think the, the temperature is up gets up to like 42 degrees Celsius which is like really really hot yeah that's like over 100 degrees Fahrenheit I yeah think. so it's like very warm water they actually she was saying like they cool it down a little bit so it's a little bit more bearable for people to actually like see and go in and stuff. So that's what we're doing tomorrow, but tonight we are going to go to sleep because we are super tired. We basically woke up super early this morning to get here and now we're really tired. So we'll see you guys in the morning to have another fun day in Bath. <laughs> Okay, so it's our second day now in Bath, and this morning we actually went to the Thermae Spa, and we were allowed to take photos like before they open, but typically you're not allowed to take like photos or videos in there, so it was really hard <laughs> to get footage, but I think I got a little bit of it. Yeah, so we'll definitely show you that now, but it was freaking amazing. I feel so relaxed. I Julie, what do you it. think? It was amazing. First thing in the morning, a nice warm bath. Right? The skin is rejuvenated, we're quenched. <laughs> and moist, we're perfect mm -hmm. for the day. Moisturized. I love yeah. it. So, um, one of the most common things to do when you come to Bath is to obviously visit the Roman Baths. It's what made this city popular because the woman who works for the tourism board of Bath actually told us that back in the day, like it was like BC <laughs> times, a king had come to Bath and he had leprosy and he bathed in the waters and he actually was healed of his leprosy. So Which ever since then, the city has been like really popular for healing and wellness and visiting the Roman Baths. So that's what we're gonna do right now, which is different, different than the spa that yeah. we went to earlier. But it should be super cool. It's definitely the kind of thing that you can't miss when you come to Bath because it has so much to do with like the history of the city in general. So so we're gonna go learn all about that now. So something we've noticed walking around the streets of Bath is there is so much just live music. Like there's so many people performing. We've seen drummers, violinists, opera singers, you literally name it and we've seen it while walking around here. Okay, so right below us, right there, is the Roman Baths. You can't go in it, but you can view it and walk around, and honestly, it's really beautiful to look at. It just makes you imagine like what it was like when you could actually go in it. Okay, so we're probably about halfway, maybe a little bit more, through the 
tour of the Roman baths and I think it's really really interesting it's very historical obviously this place was around since like BC times so um, there's a lot of history here but it's like a self-guided tour that you kind of like walk through yourself so you can either take as much time as you want or go through you know as quick as you want I think the part out here outside in the lower level where like the original baths are is probably the coolest because it just really does feel like you're in whatever time this was built, <laughs> which I'll put on the screen. We really like self-guided tours personally because we kind of like to go at our own pace. Like I feel like maybe we'll go quicker through some areas and like slower through other ones. So definitely think this is a good tour to do. And obviously it's the most iconic thing to do in Bath. So definitely come check it out. Oh, it's warm. So apparently at the end, you can taste the water. So I'm gonna do it. I'm scared, it's warm. <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. It's not bad? It just tastes like you're you're drinking tea water. Wow, that was so undramatic. Yeah, it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't as interesting as I thought Where's it was gonna be. <laughs> okay, so apparently these are all the minerals that you can find in the water. So if you look here, this is all of them. How crazy is that? Okay, so this is the first time we're having like a meal on our own since we're obviously on a trip with other people and we came to this vegan cafe called Cascara and it's so amazing. They have like breakfast and like lunch options and I think they're open from like 8 a.m. to like 4.30 so it's really like a breakfast and lunch kind of spot. But I got a vegan croissant and we each got like a vegan meal. Like I got like beans on toast I think and Gabby got like a BLT vegan -y kind of sandwich and some drinks and stuff so I'm excited to try it. Okay, so I got beans on toast. I think it's like a little bit spicy and Gabby got like a tempeh sandwich. Which looks amazing, plus a smoothie and a green juice. Oh my God, this smoothie is so good by the way. So beans on toast is definitely not popular in America. It's more of like a UK thing, but it's something that they eat for breakfast. And the last time that I was here, I had beans on toast and I absolutely loved it. So even back home, like Gabby and I kind of make it ourselves. But I mean, how good does this one look? It looks freaking incredible. I can't wait to try it. You have to let us know if that's the best beans on toast you've ever had. Okay. Because it's a vegan version. So I think we mentioned this before, but Bath is a super walkable city. Like we've literally been walking everywhere and everything is basically like a 10 minute walk yeah. from one another. So right now we're kind of walking around and popping into some shops, going to some local stores and also some like, you know, more common, like what they call here high street stores, <laughs> like the brand name stuff. Like the fancy, fancy stuff. <laughs> There's also like a lot of coffee shops I've noticed and like pastry shops that seem really, really good. Like everything's in the window and it looks delicious. But we just had lunch around. <laughs> Yeah, I like wish I was hungry so I could go in and try more things. <laughs> afternoon tea. Can you believe it? How Looks crazy incredible. is that? Incredible. Wow. <laughs> so today's actually our last day in Bath. We're actually leaving like right after this, um, but we're heading on a train to our next destination in the UK. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for that. But we just wanted to say thank you all so much for watching this video. We had an amazing time in Bath. We absolutely loved it here. We actually liked it a lot more than we were expecting to. Bath is freaking incredible. I mean, look at this view behind us even. It is so beautiful. And I also wanna say that Shannon and I, while we were here, saw so many other lesbian couples like walking around holding hands so this is definitely an inclusive and cool place to come if you're a lesbian couple we had the best time ever and we cannot wait to explore more of the uk so you all are gonna have to stay tuned for our next few videos because you don't want to miss them make sure you like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one bye bye